Welcome to story time today, my story time friends. Today we're doing one of my favorite books from my childhood. It's called NIMBY. An extraordinary cloud who meets a remarkable friend. It's a story and pictures by Jasper Tompkins. One gleaming day, a magical wave crashed against the shore rocks of a far away sea. As the spray rose into the air, it became a small cloud which flew higher and higher, just like a bird. This new cloud was welcomed to the sky by some grand old puffs. They named him Nimby. Nimby was the darling of the cloud family, but they soon found that he was truly a special cloud. When the old one said, Today we will all be tall and proud and fluffy, Nimby felt like sliding on the mountaintops. When the sky was full of little white fluffs, Nimby was a long flowing spiral. And when everyone spread out together to make a thick fog, Nimby was a great golden fish. When the clouds were high and thin, <laughs> Nimby was a happy pig. And when the sky was full of graceful popcorn clouds, Nimby was a comfy couch. When the clouds swelled up dark and poured down rain, Nimby was a plane and made a hole to let the sun shine through. Huh, this was too much. Clouds are beautiful when they are shaped by the sky and the wind said the big old puffs. But playfulness is a step beyond beauty, replied Nimby. Hurrah! grumbled the old ones, even though some of them were secretly delighted. The next day, Nimby was a tree. He sat all day on a mountain top until the cloud family finally moved on. Goodbye, he said to no one in particular, and then he sailed off alone. Soon Nimby came to a city. He made stars and even changed colors, but no one noticed. Everyone was too busy. Nimby found some children in the countryside and stopped to make animals for them. But the hills soon became grumpy because Nimby was blocking the afternoon sun. The children were frightened and ran away. Nimby threw some lightning down at the grumbling hills and then sailed away as the thunder rumbled. <sighs> Nimby was discouraged. He shut his eyes and let the wind blow him wherever it pleased. When Nimby finally opened his eyes, he was in the middle of the ocean. It was very lonely. He sighed 
and sailed on. When he opened his eyes again, he saw a tiny speck far ahead on the ocean. As he got closer, he saw that it was a little island all alone. But as he looked, the island turned into a ship. <gasps> Nimby could hardly believe his eyes. Then the ship became a baseball mitt. Ha <laughs> ha, Nimby was overjoyed. He sailed down to be the ball. Nimby and the island were a wonderful pair. Every day they would surprise each other with new tricks. They made ice cream floats, a mysterious castle, and rainbows, and fountains, and smoke rings, and even bananas. But if they saw a ship or the Cloud family nearby, they would quickly become just two little islands alone in the sea. Nimby and the island were the best of friends and no one ever knew except you and me and the sun.